Hey everyone, my name is Guus. Um, I'm about to show you how you can get all the uh, names and email addresses from all your friends on Facebook. And you can do this by using screen scraping. And um, if that word confuses you, um, Importer.io is a web scraper. Um, but basically what it does is the same as a screen scraper. But the thing is, you cannot use a web scraper like Importer.io, which uses the web, uh, to extract data from Facebook because Facebook heavily protects it. But you can use screen scraping instead. So it, screen scraping is not using the web. Um, if I want to make a clear definition between web scraping and screen scraping and this um, exercise allows me to show you the difference. And this is my definition of a screen scraper, uh, which is it's an automated computer process that is authorized, which is a very important given, authorized to interact with a screen and store publicly available data you can view from it. It's basically saying, um, yes, it's authorized to store the data because um, it could publicly view it. it. It didn't hack the website or something. It's not called web hacking or something. It's called screen scraping. And I'm about to show you how that works. We need a couple of things. Uh, one is, um, it's called an IDE, which stands for Interface Development Environment, and uh, you need one for this exercise because uh, an ordinary native text editor won't work. Um, you will also need an account on Yahoo, and you will need to have an account on Input.io. Uh, it's free, so um, give it a try. Um, it's the 30th of July now, and um, as of now, this method is working because I just found out. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere else. If you, if you do see it, please let me know uh, so I can give the guy credit because he was f before me. Um, go to Yahoo and go to your mail tab because here's where you import your Facebook contacts using a screen scraper. Um, I already imported my contacts so I can't show you uh, the screen that you will see when you import yours. Um, but it will open the, the Facebook um, window which you see often when you log into a website using Facebook and allow it to give access well when you say allow access what it actually does is it gets the information from Facebook and scrapes it and uses it in their application so the same happens with Yahoo uh, you go to Facebook and you integrate uh, your Facebook context and then you will see this nice table containing cells with all the information about all the people that you want uh, so you want to extract this data, of course, <coughs> but you couldn't say, okay, you know what, I'm going to copy paste this link and put it into import.io and see what happens. Because Yahoo blocks you from signing in. So that doesn't work. So what could we do? We could say, well, we could export the information, right? Any uh, mail editor do, uh, does that. But Yahoo prevents you from doing this. It says so, all contacts except your Facebook contacts will be exported. So this is where most people probably get stuck. Like, how would, would I get this information out of there? Well, you're viewing a web page in HTML. And what you're doing is you're viewing this information right here you see I can highlight it in your browser and your browser can view all this information publicly but Yahoo prevents you from extracting the information from this uh, row here for obvious reasons because um, it probably made a pact with Facebook saying okay we won't share your contacts so people will still have to use the Facebook um, platform to send out their message because that's what they want they don't want you to leave um, but I'll show you a way how you can easily do that through a workaround by screen scraping and here's what you need to do you don't need to use export but you need to print your contacts so select them all go to print and now what most people will think is okay this is a um, you know Yahoo generated a PDF for me to print out because it says okay open PDF in preview. But what made me tick and what made me realize that this is in the PDF that you. But what made me tick was this, the about blank. Um, if you have any knowledge about web browsers or web development, you know about blank. 
is the default URL a browser uses when it gets information and needs to display it like a local file. But in this turn, um, what happens here is that Yahoo does what Yahoo does is it exports this table and all its in cells and information and then dumps it in the browser to display it. So what you're viewing here is not a PDF file, it's not an image, it's HTML. Now this gets interest, uh, interesting because every page that is written in HTML can be scraped by in a web scraper like import.io. So you think, okay, just paste the URL into import.io, but the URL is about blank. It's not a public URL. This is a local URL. So it's a local URL inside your browser, and we can just simply uh, copy this information by saying copy, copy element, and then use Atom to create a new HTML file. So how you do that is you create a new file by going here, new file, or hitting uh, command N, and you first need to save the file. Um, I will go to my desktop and I will call it the test html and then save it so now Atom can uh, interpret the data you have on the clipboard as html because if you do it the other way around Atom will crash because it doesn't know what language this is in so basically what we have right now if you go to your desktop now is there see we have the same page we just viewed here but now we've made a URL from it which the browser can uh, interpret because it's in HTML language and all the data contained in this HTML file is publicly available data that is mine. There's only one thing that is not mine which is the word Yahoo because if you go back to your Atom you see here copyright 2016 Yahoo well you don't have to be afraid of anything because the HTML language is a publicly available language that nobody owns so I can copy HTML language there's no there's nobody who can claim anything on that and then all the information in this file all the names from the people is information I already have so I'm not stealing this information from anyone so the only thing that Yahoo can claim in this entire file is their name which is displayed here and it's displayed with the capital but I'll show you why that's important because if you use find you'll see there's 10 entrances, uh, entries of Yahoo but you need to use match case which makes sure that the capital Y is used because there are also email addresses in this document from yahoo.com and it will change it to whatever I'm going to type now which is Mr. Random and it will replace all the instances where Yahoo is used as a name and you will see here no results great so it doesn't find Yahoo anymore save it again now again go to your desktop open the HTML file here you see Mr. Random and copyright it to Mr. Random so everything in this file is now rightfully mine and I can do with it whatever I want and which is really easy by using Dropbox because uh, you can go to the Dropbox website and do this but if you go to the public folder inside your Dropbox then any file you put in there uh, you can use a, uh, or extract a public link from it and basically what it is this is a HTML web page that is publicly available so now import.io can view that file without any trouble or any interference from Facebook, Yahoo or anyone else. And it will load up in a bit. There we go. Now what um, input.io automatically does is suggest the values that to extract. Um, you need to create a blank table because I will show you why. The first column is called name, or I will call it name, and it will extract the names from this column. But the thing is, there are no two columns. This is actually 
I'll show you here one big column containing a lot of data rows see they're all, all rows this is not one column and this is one column these are this is one huge table with a lot of rows so what I want to instruct um, input IO is to go to each of these table cells inside this row and extract the data from it that I want instead of using one um, column for the name one for the email and do it on all the names and emails you can see and it will make sense in a bit um, so I have the names Let's create the email now select the email addresses from the so-called left column and create the third one again name it will automatically add the right number to it and then select the names from the second column finally email and um, we're nearly there so boom there we have it now we've made the test file publicly available on the web so the web scraper from import.io can find the information that I want and what it will return in a bit is a CSV that will look like this um, but actually it will look like this at start with name one and email one here and then you basically cut and you paste this below the first two columns and you've got all the names and all the email addresses from all your Facebook friends um, on a completely legal way so I hope you enjoyed it please read my article if you want to know more and thank you for watching